Hello and welcome back to KTech Designs. My name is Seth. In this video, I'll show you how I made replacement involute gears for a broken automatic opening lid trash can. Now what you can see in this picture here is a pair of gears with missing teeth and a cracked hub. Now these are pretty small, the largest one in diameter is about three quarters of an inch. And generally speaking, it's very difficult to 3D print fine features, but these were just big enough that I was able to produce parts that were properly functional. So in this video, I will show you how I modeled up the replacements. And with that, let's get started. So let's model up the small gear first. So from the start page, let's create a new part. I'm going to create a part container. I'm going to go to the part design workbench and create a body. Now we need to go to the part design workbench uh, tab up here and that's where we'll find the involute gear application. Um, now we need to set the number of teeth, the module, and the pressure angle. Number of teeth is pretty easy. I came up with uh, 28 and the module is the ratio of the pitch diameter to the tooth count and the pitch diameter is about right here uh, which is where the mating gear teeth come in contact with the uh, the gear here and that's pretty hard to measure so in my measurement I got a, an estimate um, and I came up with 0.633 Uh, the outer diameter is 19 in this case, so what you can do is um, yeah, estimate the uh, pitch diameter, uh, make the, uh, the gear like this, we'll go ahead and apply it, and then what you can do is use the measure tool and see how close you get. So that's pretty hard to see, but it says um, 19. So roughly 19 millimeters, which is what I measured. So I know that that ratio is correct. Let's clear those. Now with your involute gear profile created, we can click on that and we can create a pad. Now the pad thickness I measured was three millimeters. So that's pretty easy. Next we need to, uh, to do the smaller tooth profile that extrudes out of here. Uh, so let's do another involute gear. I counted 10 teeth for that one and the module for that was 0.75. Click OK on that. Now I could move this uh, 3 millimeters up to start here but I measured the overall length of the the gear and that was easier uh, to do for uh, padding this so we'll go ahead and just pad that the full length of the gear which is 11 millimeters. The next thing we need to do is create a little hub here to separate the gears from the uh, mating part in the gearbox. So let's start that hub um, on this surface, or let's create a sketch and then move it up 11 millimeters. So let's create a sketch on the top plane. I'm going to close it right away just so that I can move it. Z will be 11. Editing the sketch, let's put a circle at the origin and let's dimension it to a diameter of five millimeters. And let's extrude that up 0.5 millimeters. All right, the last step is to make a hole for the uh, shaft to go through 
And that, of course, goes all the way through. So we'll just put the sketch on the top plane. We'll place a hole at the origin and dimension the diameter to 3.2 millimeters. We'll extrude a pocket and we'll make it through all. Uh, we might have to reverse the direction. There we go. And that's it. That's pretty easy. I really like using the Involute gear tool because of how simple it makes designing gears. You don't have to worry about this profile um, at all. All of that math is done for you. You really just need your tooth count and your um, pitch diameter or even your outer diameter and your measurement tool. So that's one gear done. Now let's go on to the second gear which is uh, even simpler. So again from the start page let's create new. Let's create a part container and a body in that part. We'll put a, uh, sorry, we'll go up to part design, involute gear, and this gear is a 30 tooth gear with a module of 0.8. The pad thickness is 5.4. Now let's make a hub. So we'll do a sketch on the top plane. Our diameter for that hub is 7.6. Uh, I'm going to move that 5.4 and then pad it. The hub thickness is 1.55. And the through hole We'll do that on the top plane and it will go through all. That diameter is 5.2 and we'll pocket that reversed through all. Now this part actually, if I was to completely replicate the original gear, uh, should have this hub on both sides. But I'm designing this for 3D printing. And to have the hub on both sides would mean that I'd have to have support material um, underneath this. And if you know anything about printing with support material as the same material as a you know, main body material, you'll know that the supports are hard to break away and the surface left behind is usually really rough and I want these uh, gears to mesh properly so I opted to do it this way and it just so happened that the gearbox allowed me to do that as long as I had the hub uh, in the downward position inside the gearbox alright that's it this is a quick little video, um, a nice little introduction into creating uh, involute gears. I really wanted to demonstrate just how easy it is to make a proper gear with very little information. Um, this is a nice little project for me because the automatic trash can is a very nice modern amenity and I was really not looking forward to having to buy a completely new unit uh, to replace it. So that's another benefit of uh, FreeCAD and at-home 3D printing is just fixing little things here and there that um, you just can't find replacement parts for. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope that was informative. I uh, hope you learned something new about FreeCAD. Uh, please leave a like if you liked the video. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.